Alright, now finally Samsung has launched the latest Galaxy Watch 7 series, the Galaxy Watch 7 regular as well as the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. And if you are interested in buying one of these, you may be confused between these two watches. So in this video, I am going to help you decide which watch you should be buying. At the moment, I do not have these watches with me, but in the next few days, I will be getting them in the studio and I will make an in-depth uh, review of these watches. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe, there are a lot of contents coming up on these watches soon. First, let's talk about the design sizes and the colors. The Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra comes with three different colors, the titanium gray, titanium silver and titanium white. All three of them have got this orange accents and they all look premium and very cool. And this watch is being offered in only one size that is 4.7 centimeter or 47 mm. That is quite chunky. And you need to note that this is available only in LTE variant. We do not have a Bluetooth variant. Next, when it comes to Galaxy Watch 7 regular, we've got two different sizes, 40 mm and 44 mm. So you get to choose depending on your wrist size. And we've got two color options here. One is green and the other one is cream. Again, here we've got this orange accents on these watches. And the Galaxy Watch 7 regular comes with two variants, LTE as well as Bluetooth. So you can choose depending on your usage. I'll also be posting a video about whether to choose a LTE variant or a Bluetooth variant, so stay tuned for that. Now, as far as the design is concerned, personally, I would love to have a Galaxy Watch Ultra, but the Galaxy Watch 7 offers different size options as well as LTE and Bluetooth versions. I would be able to choose the one I want when it comes to the Galaxy Watch 7. Now, when it comes to the materials used on these watches, the Galaxy Watch Ultra comes with grade 4 titanium and sapphire glass, whereas the Galaxy Watch 7 comes with armor aluminum along with sapphire crystal glass. So there is an upgrade on the Galaxy Watch Ultra. The next important aspect the battery performance. Samsung claims the Galaxy Watch Ultra offers 100 plus hours of battery life on power saving mode and this comes with a huge 590mAh battery which is great. But when it comes to the Galaxy Watch 7, we have got two options here. The 40mm offers 300mAh battery and the 44mm offers 425mAh battery and these are almost similar to the predecessors. So you can expect a battery life of about uh, one and a half days with the AOD on and close to about two days with the power saving mode on. The next major the difference between these two watches is the water resistance and IP rating. The Watch 7 Ultra offers 10 ATM water resistance and it is an IP68 rated watch. But when it comes to the regular Watch 7, we have got 5 ATM water resistance and IP68 rated. So there is a difference when it comes to withstanding the water pressure. That is something to note here. Another feature difference here is the all new quick button for the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Along with the home and back button, we will be able to assign some actions for the quick button, whereas on the Galaxy Watch 7 regular, we just have home and back button. Now, these are some of the major differences between these two watches and there are many similarities, similar hardware specifications uh, for these two watches. Let's discuss that. First thing to note is both the watches come with three nanometer processor, which is the brand new Exynos W1000. So both will run equally good. The storage is 32 GB for both these watches. Both of them come with a brand new bioactive sensor for more accurate health measurements. Both come with dual frequency GPS for precise tracking of runs and hikes. Both these watches offer BP and ECG measurements and the brand new feature sleep apnea has also been integrated on uh, to these watches. Both of them offer this. Both of them have got AI for health features. We have more precise and advanced health tracking, new health index, tailored wellness tips, and we also get guidance from the AI as far as our health is concerned. And we also have an all new feature called energy score, which will be offered by both these watches. So there are a lot of similarities when it comes to these features. Now, when it comes to pricing, there is a huge difference between these two watches. Galaxy Watch 7 Bluetooth only 40 mm model starts from 299 US dollars. And this can go up to about $380 for the larger LTE model. Whereas the Watch Ultra will be available at $649. So there is definitely a huge gap in terms of price between these two watches. Now, which watch should you buy? Which is the right watch for you? Should you be spending that huge amount on the Watch 7 Ultra? Let me quickly share my thoughts about it. When Samsung presented the Galaxy Watch Ultra, they indirectly mentioned that the professional athletes will be able to get the best out of this watch. They mentioned about cycling with FTP calculation, accurate location tracking for hikers and cyclists, a tough and robust watch for a different weather conditions. Looking at all this, it looks like this is specifically made for those who are into a lot of sporting activities 
celebrities and professional athletes. But this doesn't mean that a normal consumer should not be buying this. You can buy it as long as you are into a lot of fitness activities because this offers a lot when it comes to athletics, fitness tracking, health tracking, etc. And the best part is it offers close to 100 hours of battery life and the design of this watch is pretty good. It definitely looks premium and it looks very sporty as well. On the other hand, the regular watch 7 looks pretty simple. It looks like the predecessor, the Galaxy Watch 6 series or 5 series. And when it comes to the health centric features, the AI integration, as well as some of the hardware specs like the memory, the processor, etc., are similar to the Watch Ultra. And we also get to choose between the Bluetooth and LTE variants and two different sizes as well. So it looks like this is made for the mass market. Now, for a normal user, the Galaxy Watch 7 regular should be good enough. You will save a lot of money, you will enjoy all the brand new features, and you can also choose the Bluetooth variant if you do not want the LTE. And of course, you can choose the size you want. Now, if you are too much into health tracking or fitness tracking features, if you're a pro professional athlete and if you are someone who doesn't like charging more frequently and use the watch in different weather conditions and if you like the sporty looking chunky design then you should be going for the ultra as long as budget is not a concern that's my opinion you guys let me know what do you think about this which one have you pre-ordered or which one are you going to buy drop a comment with your reasons uh, this is all I want to share with you guys. Let me know about these watches. What are your thoughts? I will be posting many more contents about these watches uh, in the next couple of days. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to know your Galaxy watch and Galaxy phones better and hit that like button if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye bye.